Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we are repotting some anthuriums. It is about time that we repot them. You can see these guys have been growing in these net pots and their roots are coming out the bottom. I'm going to be potting them up in these pots that I got from Target. They are only like three or five dollars a piece. I have lots of my plants growing in these because they just have this good classic look to them and they are great for your plants. We're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with my Anthurium crystallinum and then we're going to repot my Oroquianum. Then we're gonna be repotting my Vitarifor Vitarifolium as well. So we've got a long list of plants that we've got to repot. So we'll just get started. The goal is to not break too many roots, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're gonna put that one on hold while my husband gets me some scissors. I think these ones, they're not so bad, so they can just slide right out. Yay, we did it. <laughs> that was a little scary. Here she is in all her glory. Um, it has been growing in moss and it's been doing okay. This is its newest leaf. It's just been beat up. I am going to pot this up in soil. It's been growing up in moss, obviously, which truthfully, they, some people say you can't grow your anthuriums in moss. You can, you just need to be aware of like fertilizing and I've had no problem growing this, obviously, in moss. It has given me three new leaves, but it's only ever had three leaves, so I'm hoping if I pot it up in some soil that maybe it'll be able to grow a bit quicker and maintain more than three leaves at a time. Unfortunately, they aren't as happy as I'd like them to be. Um, one of my favorite things about anthuriums is that they usually have these thick, happy, kind of almost juicy roots, you could say. Um, and this plant definitely does not have that. I think it's because I just had it growing in moss for too long, but a lot of these roots just aren't as happy as they could be. Luckily, it's not like, it's not root rot, they're not dying. They just could be happier, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna keep untangling them. This is one of the worst parts about growing your plants in moss is that when you go to change their substrate, you have to pick out as much of the moss as you can. It's very time consuming. So, yep, I'll be here probably another 20 minutes or so. Here we are, 10 minutes later. Um, I'm still working at it. It seems like um, pretty good though. We've got lots of the roots exposed and loose. There's just this big ball of moss in the middle that I'm trying to loosen up. The hardest part is I don't want to damage any of their roots, but I also don't want to leave too much moss in here because soil, the top layer of soil will dry out faster than this moss will. And so if I have too much moss at the roots, at the root ball, when I'm over watering it without knowing, that will cause root rot and I will kill my plant. Here we have the plant and all of her roots. I've got out as much, as much, as much as I can. Um, the rest of it really are just like the little itty bitty strands, like what's on my fingers, um, that have attached themselves to the roots. And I worry that if I dig at it anymore, um, I will damage the roots, so I don't wanna do that. So. Here we have it. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot. And then I've got some soil. I didn't have any pests with this plant, so I will be sanitizing that and then just reusing it. From my bucket of soil here, and I finally got a shovel, a little scooper, so I can repot my plants with it. Um, I do have some big chunks of orchid bark in here. Lots of perlite and then just some potting mix. Um, anthuriums really like to have a chunkier mix. If I had more orchid bark, I would add it, but I really don't. So I buy a shovel so I don't have to use my hands and here I am using my hands. <laughs> 
Oh, I forgot to mention this potting mix also has a couple pieces of Lekka in it. Here she is. My hands are all dirty, so just ignore it. So that one took the longest. Hopefully this next one does not take as long. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping away at this net pot. the soil is. The soil is old. It's definitely time for a repot. I'm not going to repot the third one. <laughs> we have too much going on today. I can save that one for later. No matter how many supplies you have, you know, potting mat, little shovel, it's always going to be a bit messy. That was exhausting. <laughs> um, I did have the third plant that I was going to repot, but honestly, I'll just do it later. Um, that one as well, I want to transition from moss and put it into soil, but that is going to be a tedious and long process, <laughs> which I don't have the energy for today, so we'll have to just do it another time, which is fine. Um, but I did get to repot up two of my other favorite anthuriums, and I'm so excited to see how they'll do in their new pots. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you in two weeks. Bye.